What's up and welcome to another video. We're doing that ceiling and it's about time. Now, what I did is taped all the spots where I need to know the, the distance between the wall and to the center. So I can put the beam right across and the molding right across here. It should be an easy process. I usually use brad nails are about almost about two inches in length, but because this is a ceiling, it's not the wall. You gotta be very, very cautious of wiring in the attic. So I'm switching it up with this. This is about an inch, a little over an inch, and it'll be just fine because the board is a quarter, yeah, three fourths of an inch thick, and this is a little over an inch. It's just gonna hit the ceiling just right. Now you might be wondering, how is it gonna stay up? Do you trust these nails? Because it is drywall and drywall, you know, sometimes it gives way. If you did ask that, good question. To combat that, I have the adhesive. Now I've been using that is it caulking adhesive from Pyrograb? And that works perfectly. So after that heals up, after it fully cures, it's gonna be on there for a long time. It's, it's really strong once it dries up. As an example, I did this. I did this wall. And in the beginning when I did the wall, I just nailed it in. This is drywall, okay, obviously. But I used a brad nailer, nailed in those um, nailed the wood pieces into the wall, right? But it was still, you know, some loose pieces here. So I was very concerned. You know what? I may have to take them out, apply the, the caulking on, underneath the wood piece, and then reinstall it. I was thinking, man, it's going to be a process. But so I did a test. What I did, I still left the pieces in there. I didn't take them back out and applied that caulking on the edges let it dry and that thing is on there i have strong faith in this working out of this working out proper words so let's do the damn thing all right now i'm going to use this laser to make sure i'm in alignment there we go. I don't know if you can still see me. If you don't, that's the bummer. That's what it is. So lining this up, make sure it's symmetrical as possible to the wall, and try to find a center point to where this wood to be. a little bit. So I'm ready for these boards. Got these boards here. I'm gonna place them up there. And I have I have my trusted Brad Niller. I adjusted the, I took out the longer nails and placed the shorter nails, like I stated before. I'm gonna put some caulking adhesive on the board right here. And these are, once again, the size I'm using. So it should come out to be really good. It doesn't seem to, you know, affect the ceiling too much so we can avoid any wires up there we just don't know ducking system or we like again this this house was built a long time ago so just to be on the safe side thanks and i'm gonna have my pops help me so let's get this
All right, so what I did, I applied all of that caulking right here from the bottom, from top to bottom, all through. Now, it does give me some time to, to place it. It doesn't dry so fast, and it's like an Instagram. So once I push it up, it is like tacky, so it will hold its, uh, it will hold it in place. So let's get my pops. Let's get her done. Okay, so I'm gonna put it center line. Y, y trata, tú sabes, just get no, the back end. Tú lo pones y yo lo, lo, lo pego. Okay, está bien. Lo pones tú me dice dónde es que tú me estás poniendo. All right, hold it up. Yeah, just pin it up. See, que see, que se puso duro. All right. Okay, yo tengo una pega ahí. Uh, go back a little bit. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's bien porque la la el ceiling no está. Yeah. And I'm just trying to center line it. There we go. Thank you. Is it done? Beautiful. 